Hello and welcome to Viva Barca, welcome to the home of everything Barcelona. In this episode, we are going to be focusing on the post-match reaction after the 2 0 defeat to Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena, speaking about manager Xavi, who explains the difference between Barca and Bayern following that 2 0 defeat. Then also talking about the reaction from Pedri Gonzalez, who admitted that it was our mistakes. Then also Jules Kunde and Marcos Alonso, who also reacted, we are going to be discussing on what they had to say after the defeat. So guys, as we get right into it, please do a sure to subscribe if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona suffered their first defeat of the season as they were handed a 2 0 beating by German champions Bayern Munich in their Group C encounter of the UEFA Champions League. Second half strikes from Lucas Hernandez and Leroy Sane condemned Barcelona to a defeat after they had missed a host of chances in the first period. The misses proved to be too costly for the Blaugrana, something that manager Xavi Hernandez acknowledged after the game. He said, the difference between us and Bayern is that they don't forgive in front of goal. Why the Barca manager insisted that the result was not fair reflection of the entire game, he accepted that the team cannot afford to miss chances at this level. He said, the result is not the reflection of the entire match, but this is the Champions League. If you miss your chances, you will end up paying out. We messed up. This defeat is a step backward for us. There was a controversial moment late in the first half when Usman Dembele appeared to have fouled by Alfonso Davis inside the Bayern box. However, no penalty was awarded by the referee and the VAR also did not even intervene. Talking about the incident, Javi said, I didn't see the Dembele foul, but everyone is telling me it was a penalty. Regardless, I don't want to comment on referees. On the performance and the chances created, the manager said, we had six or um, seven clear chances to score. The first half was ours. We did enough not only to draw, but we should have won. We should learn from our mistakes and keep working hard. On the goals that the team considered, he added that our marking in the corner was very, very bad and we should have fouled the runner in the play of the second goal. They stopped the game and we don't. That is what competing means. Further expressing his frustration over the result, Javi said, I am mad because we should have won. We played a match to win. Lewandowski missed chances. Pedri got two. Rafinha from outside the box. This is a disappointing and unfair result for us. Competing means winning corners, closing transitions, you know, or having a chance in front of the goalkeeper and scoring it. I'm very angry. I'm living angry. We had to win the game today. We have to be more effective in both of the areas, the Barca legend said. Javi also added that this Barcelona team is still going through a rebuilding process while the opposition are already a well-established outfit. He said, You could say that Bayern already have a built team. We are under construction only at the beginning of our journey, he said. Expressing his disappointment at the nature of the goals considered, he said, You can't be controlling a match then considered from a corner kick or considering a chance from the middle like that, you know, like the play of the 2-0. We have to learn from those mistakes. Further talking about the Mbele penalty incident, he said, I asked the ref during halftime to be honest and tell me if it was a penalty. He said it wasn't. So following the defeat, Barcelona will look to bounce back to winning ways when we face Elche in La Liga on Saturday afternoon. Barcelona's poor run against Bayern Munich continued as they fell to a 2-0 defeat away from home at the Allianz Arena on Wednesday night. The Blackburner were the better team in the first half and should have gone ahead, but Robert Lewandowski missed three clear cut chances while Manuel Neuer produced a couple of saves. The missed chances came back to Hans Javi's side as Bayern broke the deadlock early in the second half through Lucas Hernandez. Minutes later, Leroy Sané made it 2 0 for the home team, punishing Barcelona's laps. Barca pushed and propped in search for a way back into the game, but it was not to be as they fell to a fifth defeat in a row to the German champions. And speaking after the match, Pedri Gonzalez, who was a standout performer for Barca, lamented about the missed chances as well as the defensive mistakes, saying that, yeah, a tricky match in the first half, we had many chances to score, but when you don't take advantage of that, you end up paying for it. 
these are our mistakes they score a goal from a corner kick and that cannot happen we know that they are dangerous there we competed a lot and we could have won the game i think we have to continue like this the teenage midfield prodigy also commented on the penalty claim involving Usman Dembele in the first half, which was not given by the referee. He said, I haven't seen the foul of Dembele, but if the referee and the VAR considered that there was nothing, I suppose that was the case. Pedri had two great chances, but saw one of his efforts saved by Manuel Neuer, while the other hit the outside of the post. Commenting on those moments, he said, I know I had two clear chances to score. I should have scored them and I will need to improve. The Spaniard admitted that the defeat was a bitter pill to swallow but insisted that there are still plenty of matches left to be played. This result is very painful considering the way we played. There are still a lot of games left. For the majority of the first half, Barca dominated proceedings and created several big chances which they failed to convert. Those misses would come back to buy Xavi and Co as Lucas Hernandez put their autumn in front early in the second half before Leroy Sané made it 2-0. Barcelona searched for a way back into the game but there was none as they lost the fifth game in a row against the Bavarians. Manager Xavi Hernandez was left disappointed with the outcome of the game. And new signings Jules Koundé also reacted in a similar manner admitting that the defeat was a bitter pill to swallow after the first half performance. We played very well but the result is hard to take. Kunde said, they have punished us with set pieces and counter attacks. On the missed chances by Robert Lewandowski, the Frenchman said, next time Lewandowski will score the chances he missed today. On a display, he said, we competed very well. It's about details. What we lacked are the goals. We got a little lost in the corner and considered a second goal shortly afterwards. We have to continue working hard. Marcos Alonso, who made his first start for Barcelona on Wednesday night, also echoed his sentiments um, for Kun of Koundé, saying that the team cannot afford to miss chances against a side like Bayern Munich. He said, In games against rivals like Bayern, you have to take advantage of chances. They have top quality, they are physically strong, and obviously they also create danger. He said, We have been good. I think we have created enough to win or at least get a better result. But hey, let's keep working. Alonso also insisted that there are still plenty of games left, saying it's a missed opportunity, but there is a long way to go and I think we have to, you know, stick with the positives from here. So those are some of the reactions from Barca after the game. You know, it was highly disappointing to see us losing against Bayern. You know, first half was pretty good, but second half was just... Second half, we did not really play well, after, especially when we considered those, considered those two goals in quick succession. It was really devastating. Um, I think there was a loss of concentration, especially for the first goal where we considered without really uh, an accurate man marking, considered from a corner kick, you know, so it's just unfortunate. But at least I think there are promising signs. I think if we can look at the performance from the first half, and seeing the way the team even played overall, I think the building process is moving smoothly. It's just a matter of time, you know. We can't just think that we can just compete with the likes of Bayern that have been an established team already. They are not going through a, building, a rebuilding process like how Barca are going through. So we just need to understand that Xavi still have some, you know, something, some few things to accomplish because it's not just a, a day's task to build a team and you think you can compete with the big boys already. So let's hope for the best, but I still, I'm still proud of the team. We are moving towards the right direction. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.